Hi, so in this project, we're going to be working on just a very simple uh, circuit, being able to power on a LED light using a Raspberry Pi. This project requires zero coding, but it's a good starter project just to understand the wiring, the GPIO system on the Raspberry Pi, and to see some immediate success with the LED. So let's go ahead and take a look at the materials that we need. You're going to need one LED light. You're going to need a resistor. This is 330 ohms. This, this helps reduce so we don't blow the LED light. And I'll show you what happens if you don't uh, reduce the amount of voltage. You're going to need some jumper wire. In this case, we have a female to male lead. So you can plug this into the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. And then the mail so we can plug into our breadboard. So you also need a breadboard. And you'll just simply need two of these wires. <coughs> Looking at the Raspberry Pi here, um, this is our GPIO system, and I know it's a little hard to see, and I'll put a chart up here on the video in just a second. What we're gonna be using is this first pin right here. This is pin number one, and this is going to give us our voltage and then we give us 3.3 volts we're going to be using pin number six which is the third one on the outside this is our ground and these two are going to be able to help us complete a circuit so it's very similar to if you were to put a coin cell battery between uh, the legs of that led light basically the same thing but we're just using the raspberry pi to supply the power to the led so once you have those plugged in, pin 1 and pin 6. Alright, so we're going to go over here to our breadboard and we're going to take our pin 1. We're just going to plop it in anywhere over here, doesn't matter. And we're going to take our ground and plug it in here on the negative. This is going to build our electricity current. Now, we have to reduce the amount of electricity that goes through, so we're going to use this resistor here. And I'm going to plug it here. On the positive and negative on a breadboard, if you never use it, there's a piece of copper that runs up and down. So these are all connected. So when I plug in here, this is all getting that power. And so we need to get and communicate from that negative. I'm going to put my resistor in here. And the resistor, it can flow either way. It doesn't matter. And so it's not um, a one-way directional. And so this is just going to limit the amount of electricity goes through. So I plugged it in here in the negative and just brought it over here. And I've kept my voltage and my negative side by side. So it makes it easy to plug my LED in. So now I've got my LED light. I'm going to take the long leg here, okay, the anode, and I'm going to put that in to my ground wire, the yellow one. And my shorter one, right below it where the resistor is. And we should have power. There you go. So all we're doing is simply supplying power to the LED, just making a very simple, simple circuit. So what we've basically done is taken the same idea as if we were to pull this LED light out. And we were to take the positive side of this 3 volt battery, connect it to the long leg, and the negative side to the short leg. We have just created a simple circuit. We've done the exact same thing, just using the power from the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you don't use a resistor like we did, and you just give this LED light, that's a small light, it only handles so much voltage, you're going to blow this LED light. So make sure you have your resistor and you wire properly. If you don't, then this is what could happen. So I've removed the resistor. Okay. I would not obviously encourage you to do this, but this is what will happen just so you have an idea. And you just saw it spark. You just short it out. And we have this terrible electrical burn smell, which is a terrible smell if you ever smelled it. 
the reason I urge you to be careful is because if not, you can sometimes have this happen where the LED light splits and you would not want to get hurt or get a piece in your eye, which is why you should wear safety glasses. All right, so there it is, Raspberry Pi project number one, just simply creating a simple circuit using the Raspberry Pi.